Welcome everybody, Red Arrow 23 here, time for your Angry G Vibe highlights for the week. This is episode 22. Let's boom some bitches. Alright guys, let's get into the hits. So first up we've got Dead Sunday, which is actually Kron. He's going in on Cooker. So let's check it out. Just the one um, shield generator left. So you're just going to pop that off. And then come back to the beach and we'll get into some Skooka action. Some Skooka. So here we go. Got the nice gather up. And then flares up. Shock mine's still there, so that's okay. Pops that. Flares back. Smoke timing looks reasonable. Couple extra rocket launchers on the ring, so let's see where he shocks. And those lasers under is oh oh hashtag don't worry about it. I medkitted. Nice work, Kron. Um, I don't think those lasers underneath the core needed to be shocked if the timing on the smoke was good. Um, you needed those ones at the top though, because they are roasted. And look at Brick taking a time out. Nice try, Kron. Maybe next time. So let's check out Rami. Uh, we were getting towards the end of the op here, so Kron took the first swing. Uh, maybe Rami can finish it off for us. I believe there is 12, so um, 13, 12, so 14, 1.4 mil on the core, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but that's been knocked down to about half by now. By the time we've cleared all those defenses and um, Kron let his Scorcher hit it a bit. And oh no! Oh no! Angry Remy doesn't shock the Scorcher quick enough and down go all of the girls. Uh, that's pretty disappointing from Mrs. Um, Mrs. Snacks. <laughs> Here we go, we got T2. Um, this is on the next op. <coughs> so he's going up on a different cooker. The, the other one just went down in the next hit, which is pretty standard. Uh, no morale, just like a just like a decent hit. <laughs> so let's have a look and see what T2 is going to do. Looks like he's going to go and pop off this laser, which is great. I love to see it. So he's got two boats of Zookas heading up there. Not worried about that mine. One hit. There we go. And then we've got a bunch of shocks. One, two, three, four shocks. So we can take out that laser. And now we'll be able to grin the shield. <laughs> Excuse me. And then we got some good um, use of the universal remote, taking out these boom cannons, which will just shred our grenadiers. Oh, oh dear! Here we go. Right, so now we got the grenadiers smoking into the shields, just absolutely wrecking. Our hero is probably going to die, obviously. Cleared a bunch of mines, and it's going to be ready. Look at that! Just decimated though all of the shields. Set it up for the core rusher like a boss the left shields are gone uh, the boom the shock mine sorry is still there so that's going to make it easier for the next guy or girl and there we go just going to farm a few cells on the left hand side and then we'll be good to go for the next hitter so who was up next i believe it was who finished it off so jaco finished it off so same same player moving day on t2 and moving day on jaco i believe so here we go, next attack we've got, ah, oh, I don't want to show this one. So it's Red Arrow, he's on Phobos. Um, it's a pretty easy Phobos, and I've been struggling on Phobos for a long time. We've had the Phobos curse. Uh, so we started off well, drop the hero, uh, get her out of the way so that when we do our flag landing we can just rapid tap. And so because this was an easy Phobos, I thought I'd take the opportunity to jump in and practice it. We've got the flare right up in the corner. Perfect flare. Look at this par thing. We know exactly where they're going. I was so focused on it that I forgot to clear mines. So I thought I could recover it. Quickly barrage before we get there. Reflare so everyone can gather and just chill. And then a reflare. We didn't manage to peek, which is perfect. We clipped a boom mine. That's fine. And then the terrible smoke costs us like pretty much all of our Zookas. I think we got about six left. So you know what happens when we've got six Zookas left? We need to double smoke the ending. <laughs> Look at it. There's just like hardly any girls there. I had to drop critters. Like I wasn't going to drop critters. because, it, But because I don't have that many Zookas, they're already dead before the shock ran out. 
or two shocks rain out. So that was pretty depressing. Um, really ruined my day that one, but it's been a few days now, so it doesn't hurt as much. Um, but yeah, still pretty disappointing. So where's this next hit? We've got Milk, I believe, on Rogue. Where is he at? There he is. And look at this. Two hits on Rogue. I like it. So we got the we got a little bit of a different plan. We usually sometimes go go to the right. So but this time we're gonna use greens to bard out the free cells and we're gonna be um to greens to take out the cells and then we use bart to clear a few mines up around the core we've used critters because we don't have any um, rocket launchers anywhere other than where we're going to be firing from the dead zone a little bit later on so that's all good we're not worried about losing the delay clearing mines with critters which is usually we will never clear mines with critters because you lose a delay and it's just horrible so here we go he's going to kill that um, grenadier and his flare landing flares up from the beach and gets brick in behind. I like it. I like it. Like his flare point so far. Smoke's a little wonky, but that's okay. And he is on track, heading up either side of these fuel uh, power cells. He's got to keep that flare um, nice and quick once the Zookas arrive. And there it goes. Oh, we hit the shock mine. Could maybe re smoke. No. Oh, that's okay. Just say goodbye to those Zookas. That's okay. Uh, let's have a look, see how many we got left. It's actually a decent pack still left. Um, I thought most of them got left behind, but that's okay. So we've got a four shock up the top and a three shock on the side, and he hit it perfectly. Nice work. If you missed that mortar, it would have been pretty bad. If you missed the machine gun, it would have been over with the machine gun buff. But there we go. Bricks likes to just um, do a bit of a Congo, do a bit of a shuffle there. It's alright, and Milk is just dancing. Check out that. Look how close he is to that mine at the back. This is beautiful. Gets those um, machine, gets the mortar and the machine gun down, and now it's just a free snipe from 9 o'clock. Great hit from Milk using all his GBE. Um, unfortunately, he left a whole bunch of Zookas down there, but that's okay. He only, still wouldn't have been able to finish it. And I managed to jump in and finish it off. So I used a barrage and artillery to take down those machine guns. It's just um, I worked it out and we needed I needed a lot of time up there. So I smashed my barrage and artillery and then I started the walk knowing that I could do one more artillery to finish it off. And then I still have the GBE. And I used a double smoke because I wasn't sure how wide they were going to walk. Uh, but now we see the path there and we won't need to double smoke in the future. Um, and there we go, we're just going to use some battle orders, get some decent damage done. The machine gun did pop off a few of my girls. I did get a bit nervous here, because the time was just crunching down and I wasn't sure if we were going to get it. But we did. So in another two minutes, so usually we go on the right side and we clear out of the lasers and the rocket launchers. And then that'll all be one hit, including the shields and barting out a rocket launcher. And then the next one clear out around the back. And then hit the core. But we managed to do it in two attacks won't bore you with the rest of that free snipe it all went down quite nicely and i assure you there were some decent medkits on there so let's jump straight into the next attack um this is gonna be the last one we got e dog with a pretty fancy attack let's uh find that one real quick here we go e dog on humble pie and he's going to be bringing ever spark finding a little bit more use for ever spark now that we're getting a little bit more used to these heroes so i like it here we go, just going to clear a couple of mines. I hate these mines on the junctions because you just don't know which ones you're going to clip. Um, and artillery or medkit on the walk is just stressful. So here we go, E-Dog is heading on up. He's got, um, he's got a decent walk ahead of him. He's got those flares, just making sure that um, Everspark doesn't get too far ahead. But as soon as the Zookas are just about to arrive, he's flaring that next spot. Perfect, and they're just always on the move. So if we look at the shocks, there's two sets of rocket launchers, mortar, flamethrower, shock launcher, rocket launchers, and doom cannons all in range. So there's a bunch of shocks, but he's going to be using Everspark on the already damaged flamethrower. One, two, three, four shocks. The flamethrower gets Eversparked, and everything goes in. The laser angle is perfect. Um, it's not going to be going into our Zookas, and the flares are nice and quick. So we get one shot on all of the um, shields and now it's just a matter of a little bit of health on these two shield generators that are left. Nice, this is a very difficult attack. I love Max work, here he goes. And then this got um, 
battered down I think one artillery or two artillery in the next attack got it down and that was when they took out the left shield generators and these critters are the MVP you know that you know that <laughs> so G5 did really well this week really proud of these guys doing well on the intel uh, we reached a new position so let's check out those details here we go so there we go there's the team and we got a highest leaderboard position of nine we're climbing on up I don't know how we're doing it with all these breezes we're still managing to get a 55% completion rate of massive attack apparently gets you ninth position so here we are sitting out um, in at 12th at the moment above 29,000 force points I like it and there's the team doing well um, yeah look at them go we're just doing awesome there's a few guys out dumping at the moment but that's all good um, loving working with these guys so give us a comment down below which attack was your favorite and why give us a thumbs up if you like the video thumbs down if you didn't and subscribe for more boom reach